Eugene here with the review on the Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja Shuriken Guntite DX Lion Howl. Yes, friends. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. And as you can see, friends, it is a big one here. But here's the front of the box. Here is the top of the box. Here is the bottom of the box. Here is the side of the box. And here is the other side of the box, friends. And on the back of the box, friends. Okay, friends, now let's take a look at the Atoma Nin Shuriken that comes with Lion Howl. And so, uh, anyway, nice, nice looking shuriken here, I have to say. Got, you know, of course, Lion Howl's uh, face right here. Looks really, really good here. Got the kanji here for Lion. And then uh, got some nice, nice uh, flames in the back here. Really cool here. And you got the, uh, the ninja's emblem right here. And then uh, right here, got a nice star on its uh, nice star or shuriken on top here. And uh, you got a little nice little peg up here, and that's and I'll show that to you a little bit in this review here. But uh, let's go ahead and do the sounds real quick. So here we go. Okay. And what that means is Lion Howl Castle. Just figure I'll let you guys know on the translation there. take a look at this little bitty figurine that comes with the DX Lion Howl and it is a little bitty um, Ak um, Aka Ninja chose that to figure here and it pretty much pegs into the shuriken or into Lion Howl's mouth however you want to do it but as you see it's uh, not really all painted I mean they're very hit and miss spots on this thing on this uh, figure uh, you can see right on the chest the emblem is missing paint here uh, Sadly, no articulation is uh, in the arms here, sadly, but you can have him uh, sit or stand, one of the two. So, I mean, there's really no other purpose uh, there, but anyway, he does have a, uh, he does peg into the shuriken right here, pretty much. <laughs> here he is, good old Lion Howl, and Lion Howl made his debut as Lion Howl Castle or Fortress in episode 19 of the Ninja. In episode 20, Lion Howl made his debut in his robot mode after the Shobo Changer and Aka Ninja Chozetsu made their debuts, making this mecha the third and big mecha of the series. Which really comes to shock because usually we would get the uh, the big mechas during the uh, time uh, episode 34, 35, or 36 airs in Sentai. Well. Now, we get uh, the big mechas uh, during 19 and 20, and uh, pretty much the big mecha. So, mainly, he's not the final, he's not the final mecha. Not yet. But, uh, anyway, well, let's go ahead and get uh, to it with lion this. mode. I'm going to refer him to as that instead of uh, lion, how, fortress, or castle. But, uh, anyway, well, yeah, uh, as you can see, this guy is a massive, massive mecha. Uh, and that pretty much explains why we are doing a different scenery here in my rev in this review, pretty much. Uh, pretty much due to the fact that Lion Howl in this mode here takes a lot of my reviewing station. So we're currently being filmed in my room. So anyway, so I hope you enjoy this, new, this kind of a new uh, scenery here, but this is just a temp. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at him. As you can see... He's got some nice chrome right here with the Ninja's emblem right here. Look at his eyes. And all in green. And then there's his uh, face. And then uh, his mouth does open up and mainly for the Aka Ninja Cho Chozetsu uh, figure. But uh, anyway, continuing on, you can see uh, he's got some, uh, got a uh, shuriken emblem on his uh, shoulder right here. And uh, look at his uh, paw. Look how massive this paw is. 
really massive. And he's got the trends right here. And then uh, you can see he's got clips right here for your uh, your combos with uh, Shurikenjin and so on. And then uh, here's his uh, back leg. You can see he's got the Ninja's emblem right here. And uh, you can see, look, look how big this uh, um, um, back paw is. Really big here. And he's got the trends. And so he's pretty much, friends, a lion on wheels. So uh, anyway, and then uh, here's the back. Uh, pretty much number of wheels whenever you have him stand up for uh, for the combination of Lion How in his uh, robot mode or How Shuriken Jin. So uh, anyway, now uh, taking a look at this guy here, you can see this is his tail, <laughs> pretty much his tail, <clears throat> which becomes the weapon here. And uh, this part here does uh, come off and uh, usually you would have to attach that in, but uh, Here's the inside. You can see we've got a big, big old hole here. That's mainly for uh, how, uh, mainly for Shuriken, uh, Shuriken Jin to be placed in. And you can see I uh, got the little uh, peg hole there. But uh, anyway, let me go ahead and snap that back in. And so uh, you can see here he's got uh, the his uh, guns here, which are controls for how Shuriken Jin. And you can see he got some flaming detail here. I don't know if my camera's catching it, but I'm trying to get the focus. But, uh, anyway, so yeah, he is massive, friends. Not going to lie to you. And then, uh, here is the bottom part, pretty much the whole robot mode of Lion Howl in his robot mode. Right, back here, he's got so, more clips here. He's got a whole bunch of clips here and here. And then, uh, right here is his guns. So, you know, meaning he's got guns here and guns here in, uh, in pretty much his Lion That's mode. Who, uh, figure goes that. And I'm going to point right here. They have a little spot here, and I'll take this piece off. But as you can see, there's a little designated spot for him to stand in. So uh, let me go ahead and snap it back in here and, and uh, just show them off a little bit. So there you go, friends. transformation probably about three to four steps maybe but it's very very easy but uh, anyway all you gotta do is put these guns down take this tail out we let this guy stand up here we'll have him facing this way here now make sure I got them all in camera frame here then we'll go ahead and take the uh, shuriken off and then uh, these arms do go down. Then we're going to go ahead and take this lion head and clip it to his chest. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and uh, take these, these two shurikens, and they go right here. And then we'll go ahead and open up his mouth here, because that's where the... Uh, uh, the Cho, uh, uh, Chozetsu, uh, Akane Chozetsu sits at. So we'll go ahead and just clip him in over here. And there you go. So, uh, anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and complete this transformation. So let me go ahead and just zoom in. And so let's go ahead and conclude and uh, finish this uh, transformation here. But uh, here's the helmet here, and here's the head. So here we go. Now, I have to say, friends, that's a nice, nice jing. I love that lion howl. Like the gods calling for him, lion howl. Really, really cool there. But uh, anyway, we're well, taking a look at this guy here. I have to say, um, like I said earlier, he is a big, big brick. Uh, but I do like the color scheme on this guy here. You know, we got a lot of red, gold. We got some chrome on him. Got green for the, for the lion eyes and his uh, robot mode eyes. And... 
you name it. But he's all around nice looking. And then, as you can see in the middle, we got the Aka Ninja Chozetsu uh, uh, figure in the middle there. So, anyway, he looks uh, really, really good to say that he's a big, big brick. And, uh, um, but pretty much, we're seeing a lot of color on this side. But wait till you see his back. And so, I'm going to do that real quick. So, yeah. This is all you're seeing in the back, friends, pretty much. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, but you'll see more of this whenever I do Howl Shuriken Jin. But, uh, but, uh, anyway, but uh, so far, I can't complain about him. And, oh, wait a minute, I'm, I'm just seeing something here, too. Uh, and I, I think I forgot to show this when I was showing off, uh, the lion mode, but you can see on his knee area, he's got uh, two uh, shuriken emblems on his uh, knees right there. Yeah, right there. But anyway, so yeah, he's okay and everything. I'm not going to knock him. But uh, anyway, well, one more time, friends, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do his sounds. And then we're going to get to the, uh, the big guy himself, that final mode. So uh, anyway, here we go. Purchase Lion Howl, you get this the Cho Gun Dightning Shuriken. So let's go ahead and listen to some sounds real quickly. Okay. So, as usual, you're hearing some annoying sounds from Takuharu pretty much. But uh, anyway, looking at the shuriken here, you can see you got some nice flaming detail, uh, pretty much going color coded of the Ninjas here. Right here, the kanji says uh, combine, and then uh, right here, the emblem to the nin Ninjas. But uh, there are two kinds. Uh, one of them is uh, the one for uh, uh, Shuriken Jin and Bison King, and the blade is uh, in orange, pretty much. Uh, this here is an orange here, too. As to this one here for. Uh, uh, Shuriken Jin, Bison King, and Lion Howl. This is it right here. So, uh, anyway, you, it makes that sound. All right, it's friends, pretty much easy, go. so we need to take this out. And I'm going to go ahead and inch down my camera because pretty much I'm taking him apart. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get this part taken off. So pretty much the whole body of Bison King have both his arms this way because he will be on to uh, the back of a uh, of, uh, lion howl like this. Okay. And now uh, take this piece off and then break these apart. And so have these set aside and you are pretty much done. So uh, anyway, we just take the wing, the shield off here, and the sword. And uh, if you guys remember, in the Shuriken Jin review, I talked about him doing a sitting pose, and this is pretty much the case here. You're just gonna have Shuriken Jin sit like this, and then have his arms like this, so we can have him on the controls here. And that's pretty much it. You are pretty much done here. Very, very easy. Uh, pretty much, we'll go ahead and just take uh, uh, the little Aka Ninja Chozetsu out. And we're going to go ahead and take the helmet off. And I'll roll him back. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, close up the face here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and have him peg into uh, uh, the shuriken here. But uh, if you're all wondering how he uh, fits into uh, Lion Howl's mouth, this is how he does. So, uh... Anyway, going to take this piece, and you're pretty much done. Now, here's the thing. Now you got to do a 360 turn. Let me go ahead and close this. So now you got to go ahead and uh, do a 360 turn. And so here we go. 
Sadly, friends, there is no latch to lock this in place. So pretty much, this is the case here. It's gonna keep doing this over and over and over. But uh, anyway, so then we'll go ahead and put these down here so we can put Shurikenjin in place in here. Now, this piece here is uh, mainly the support piece to help uh, King Shuriken Jin stand or, you know, mainly for the back piece for Bison King. Well, this little piece here goes here. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and snap this back on here. And you're pretty much done with that part now. Of course, now let's go ahead and uh, get the full body of Bison King. And here he is. And this part clips back here. And uh, make sure your bison's head is down so we can go ahead and snap this in place. And make sure he is nice and nicely fastened in here. So that's pretty much the whole deal with Bison King. He is pretty much the back part of, of uh, how Shura Kenjin. So now, let's go ahead and continue on. Now we'll slide him back now. So anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and raise up the camera now. And uh, the uh, sword to Shuriken Jin goes right here. We're going to go ahead and raise up his arm here. And here's a little clip right here. And it clips right here. Okay. That's one. And then uh, Bison King's gun goes right here. And uh, basically, it's just one little clip here. I don't know if you guys can see the clip. And then there you go. So I'm going to turn him around here. Next, we'll go ahead and put the wings or the shield to uh, 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 to uh, Shuriken Jin right here. As you can see, there are little holes right here for the clip. So pretty much, we're going to uh, do it here. Okay. Go ahead and put Shuriken Jin right here. This is pretty much what I was talking about in the past. So he snaps right in real well here. Like I said, make sure everything is all in place. These controls go up to his hands here. Okay. Now, last but not least, friends, uh, the legs to uh, Bison King. And uh, pretty much, they uh, have these uh, little clips here on the arms here. I don't know if you can see it here. So basically, we can go ahead and plug in one here. And we'll go ahead and get the last one here. And it clips here. So anyway, we're almost there, friends. I mean... This is uh, an easy, easy transformation and kind of a weird, weird way, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And we're going to go ahead and complete this transformation of Hao Shuriken Jin. So here is the helmet here. And let's do it. Yay! Nice, nice Jing, friends. Nice Jing, I have to say. So that's right, friends. This is uh, Hao Shuriken Jin. And uh, let me say, this is a weird, weird combo. I mean, we, here we have Shinobi Maru uh, inside of Shuriken Jin and Shuriken Jin inside of Lion Hao. And so, and then uh, we got Bison uh, King combined, making him being uh, plugged way in the back. So, but yeah, um, when I saw this, I was like, you got to be kidding me, right? Because, uh, uh, I mean, mainly it's three mechas into one. 
mainly the, the main main the very first mecca to be here in the middle here our second mecca to be pretty much on the back here <laughs> and then you know all around our third mecca so uh, this was pretty much a funny funny uh, transformation and um, I I do have a gripe having uh, Bison King being in the back I kind of wish the other I wish the pieces would have been scattered all over the shoulders and stuff of of uh, Hal Shura Kenjin but Toei just wanted him to be in the back sadly but um Anyway, is he my favorite? No. Um, I mean, he's an okay mecha. I'm not going to knock him. But, um, and, and like I said, they could have done something else instead of just having Bison King being in the back. So pretty much, as, it, as this mecha is looking towards us, all you're seeing is Shuriken Jin and the majority of, of Bison, I mean, of, uh, of uh, Line Howl and then, you know, two pieces of uh, Bison King. So, but if, anyway, one more time with the sounds, friends. Here we go. But for your information, uh, how will Shuriken Jin made his debut in episode 22 of Ninja? And so, don't get me wrong, friends. Uh, some of you may agree with me on how I feel about this mecha, but just something's throwing me off. I mean, he's he's okay. He's just okay. That's all I can say. But anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to just uh, spin him around a little bit just to show you guys what he looks like. Give you more of a good view. And then here is the back part. And then, uh, anyway... said a whole lot about him all during this review but he is decent dig the color schemes i do uh dig uh the sounds that come off of the otoman and shuriken in all three modes um i still don't know understand why we had an aka ninja chozetsu figure coming with it but i think it was all due to a decoration or whatever but like i said he is all around decent 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 and i'm gonna stick to that and uh, that's pretty much what i've said all during this review so uh, anyway, well, let me refer back to uh, Bison King's review real quick. Um, you all know that is the second mecha of the series. And uh, uh, he made his actual debut in episode 9 of Ninja. And he made a small appearance in, in the end of episode uh, 8. Um, also, uh, King Shuriken Jin made his debut in episode 12 of Ninja. And so, um, I apologize for not saying that in that review. I did put all that in the description, but please check out, make sure you check out that review that's popping up in the, uh, cards as we speak. But, uh, anyway, again, back with Lion Howl, very, very decent. I highly recommend him, despite the fact that he will be pricey when it comes to, uh, shipping and handling. So, because this guy is huge, and I will stick to that. And like I said, despite all the flaws... I do recommend this guy. So good luck to all you guys on getting this on Mecha. And, and, I, and like I said, he has his flaws, but he's still cool looking. But uh, anyway, well, friends, that's this for this re review. Please check out my blog, follow me on Twitter, and to like my Facebook. And friends, it's the review on the Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja Shuriken Guntai DX Lion Howl. I hope you enjoy. Well, my friends, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out, and I hope you have a good day. And my friends, I almost assuredly see you next time. Bye, my friends.